What's going on, everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today for Mortal Slumbers. Oh, sorry. I meant Mortal Engines. Alright. Let, let's just get this out of the way. I didn't like this film. Uh, I'll be straight up honest with you. I didn't like this film. There are some aspects of it that I loved, but a majority of the film I did not like. So let me talk about the things that I really liked about this film first. First, the visuals, they're beautiful. They're amazing. The action set pieces are fantastic. I was really invested when they were going it down. Or eye-popping to me. I would look at everything and be like, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And the whole mythology in the world of this post-apocalyptic world really built me in. And I was like, I want more of this. It would have been better as a TV show. And yeah, I know this is based off a book, so maybe I might actually pick up a book for once. Post-apocalyptic stuff. I love diving into these different worlds, seeing how these worlds have been torn apart and maybe what could happen in the future to us. But these moving cities on these wheels and just destroying stuff, it's pretty much Mad Max times 10. Just with none of the same energy as Mad Max. I did like the visuals in here and I thought the action was great. The score from Junkie XL actually wasn't too bad. I actually was kind of jamming out to it and it was really one of the few things keeping me from not slumbering in this film. When it comes to this movie in a sense, I thought the director had a really creative and imaginative eye to everything that was going on in the screen. I think a lot of my issues fall within the screenplay. I felt like there was no emotion, no soul to this film. And when I go to a movie, I don't... I, Sometimes I can forgive the story and just really be wowed and have fun and turn off my brain and enjoy the film, but you set up so many things in this film for me to care about, and when you want me to care about it and I just can't care about it, there's an issue. Fast and Furious knows what it is. It's fun, I can turn my brain off, I can watch some cars get destroyed and everything in that. But again, when you set up things that I need to care about and I don't care about it, there's some issues there. I care about the world, but not our main characters. Besides one named Strike, played by Stephen Lang, who was absolutely awesome in this. The best person in here, the best character in here. Sh Strike's a robot, and he he is filled with the most emotion in the whole film. Well, for them, I, I didn't understand them. Like, it just... The script was a mess. It f didn't feel like an act one, act two, act three structure. It felt like a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six. Let me just keep going on. I really don't want to rip this film to shreds because I do know that it takes a lot to make a film like this. And I understand that there was so much hard work that went into this film. So again, I don't want to trash on it completely, but it just didn't work for me. It lacked in a lot of departments. And by the end of the movie, I was just ready to leave. Yeah, the score is beautiful, and yeah, it's visually appealing, but there's nothing more to it. Before I get down to my final thoughts, guys, make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are. Did you like this film? Did you not? Let's talk about it. Subscribe to me if you guys are new here, and plus check out Sandwich on Films also, because that's where you guys can get into advanced movie scenes. Even check out some movie news and movie reviews. But really, Mortal Legends. The worst crime this film did was it didn't let me nap. It was too loud sometimes, and... Yeah, again, the visuals are jaw-dropping. The CGI is beautiful. The action scenes, pretty cool. And the mythology and the world building was great, but I wanted more from it. I wanted more from the story. I wanted more from this, and I just found myself not caring at all. I didn't care about the film. I didn't care about the characters, and it's hard for me to even recommend the film. I will say this, though, if HBO or Netflix or Hulu or some streaming service picks up this film later on to reboot it and make it into a series, I'm interested to watch it because I like the concept. But, again, it, eh, it's, it's not good, and it sucks saying that. I was hoping this would be a big surprise, but it's, it's not. No emotion or soul to it. So, I'm going to give Mortal Engines a D+. And maybe you did enjoy this film, and sorry if I'm trashing on it, I don't mean to. The film just did not work out for me. But let's talk about it down below in the comments. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Thank you guys so much for being here, and until next time, stay classy.